Okay, so I'm going to show you every question that's been asked so far on fractions. And just to remind you, this doesn't have every question that's ever been asked, just because of the fact some of them haven't been released by Edexcel yet. So for fractions, we've got two kinds of questions. We've got adding and subtracting with mixed numbers and multiplying and dividing with mixed numbers. Obviously, questions use fractions elsewhere. These are just the ones that only use fractions. So for this first one, I'm going to do 2 and a seventh plus 1 and a quarter. Well, I'm going, be, I'm going to begin by doing the 2 plus 1, which is the 3. And then I'm separately going to do the seventh plus the quarter. So I'm going to begin by making them have a common denominator, which is 28. To make the 7 become 28, I times it by 4. So I also need to times the 1 by 4. And to make the 4 become a 28, I times the 1 by a 7. So 4 plus 7 over 28, that's 11 over 28. Don't forget that we've also got the 3 as well. So putting that back together, we have 3 and 11, 28. So we can leave it like that because it hasn't said for a particular way to write the answer. This time we're doing a division. And so I'm going to begin by converting 1 and 1 fifth from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now you do this by doing the 1 times the 5 and then adding on the 1. 1 times 5 is 5, add on the 1 is 6, so it is 6 fifths. So my calculation is actually going to be doing 6 fifths divided by 3 quarters. Now there's this awful way of remembering this, of KFC, which means to keep, flip, and then change. But you know what? I'm actually going to arrange, uh, erase this because I hope this isn't the way you remember it with KFC, but you're going to keep, flip, change. What this means is you keep this one the same, you flip this one, you take its reciprocal, and you change it from a divide to a multiply. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just, we could simplify by doing some cross uh, division, but I'm actually going to just do 6 times 4, which is 24, and 5 times 3, which is 15. Now it does want it as a mixed number in its simplest form, so I'll simplify this by dividing the top by 3 and by dividing the bottom by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8 and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now 8 fifths, 5 goes into 8 once and there would be 3 fifths left over, so we've got 1 and 3 fifths. Let's check we've got these two right. We have 3 and 11 28 and 1 and 3 fifths. Okay, this time we're going to do these multiplying, and again, it's non-calculator, so we need to convert both of these. First of all, three and a half, that's going to be three times the two plus the one, that is going to be seven over two. And this one, we multiply the one by the five and add on the three, so that is going to be eight fifths. Multiplying these together, I'm going to show you something that you can do as a bit of a trick. We can do the 8 divided by the 2. If I do the 8 divided by the 2, I can cross the 8 out and the 2. But when I do 8 divided by 2, I get left with 4. So 7 times 4 is 28, and that's being divided by 5. It wants it as a mixed number, so 5 goes into 28 5 times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And there are 3 left over, so it is 5 and 3 fifths. Let's check we've got it right. Yep. We did. Okay, we've got another multiplying with mixed numbers, so we're going to do the same process of multiplying by that and adding the top, multiplying by that and adding the top. 1 times 4 is 4, and plus the 3 is 7, so it is 7 quarters multiplied by 1 times 3 plus 1, that is 4 thirds. Now if you want to, you could just do the multiplication like this and get 28 over 12, we could simplify it so that we then get 14 over 6 and simplify it again so we get 7 over 3. But I'm going to show you a shortcut to how we could have done this in a different way. So here's my alternative method. Like I did on the previous page, I can actually just do the 4 here, cancelling with that 4 down here because it's multiplication. And we go straight to that answer of 7 over 3. Now 3 goes into 7, it goes in twice with 1 left over. So the answer is 2 and a third. Yep, that's the correct answer for this. This time it wants us to do a show that question. So we're just going to concentrate on the left hand side and hope we end up with eight and three quarters. Same process of multiplying and then adding. So for the first one, two times three plus one, that is seven thirds. And for the next one, three times four is 12 plus the three is 15. So that is 15 quarters. Now I think this is going to be a good one to do some of that cross multiplying and cross dividing. So you'll notice that the 15 and the 3 are both in the 3 times table. So if I divide this by 3, it goes, and if I divide this by 3, I get 5. So I then have 7 times 5, which is 35 over 4. And we're going to see how many times 4 goes into 35 8 times, 
and three are left over. So because it's a show that, we already know that we've got that answer correct. So they're gonna be looking for evidence of your working in this question. And that is everything about asking fractions. If you keep following this, you're gonna come across all of the questions that have been asked up until the summer 2020 papers. Um, do make sure that you're subscribed because there's gonna be loads of tutorials and things coming your way over the next few weeks and months.